show y'all where I'm hitting so you see the weld right there on the other side there's a smaller spot to hit so to me this is the top and that's the where I want to hit it swinging with one arm here see how easily we can break it open there you go Watch your toes. See that? One arm. All right, and uh, I do it on the carpet. I think having a little soft cushion helps and make it easier. Let's try it without and see how much difficult, more difficult or easy it is. See, to me, it's, it's close. It's about the same, but to me, Having that little piece of cushion lets that weld push down just ever so slightly. When you're on super solid, there's really no give or very, very little give. And you'll end up cracking whatever you're, you know, if you're on concrete like me or uh, obviously you wouldn't do this on tile, but you can crack your garage floor or preferably you should be on a table but this is going to act as my table but i always have that soft carpet as like a barrier to give that weld just that little bit of give when you're smacking it this one might come right off let's see if you're strong enough you can hold these in one hand and Pound them right out the other side. These double copper ones are super heavy. And it's raining, so it doesn't help. Watch your toes, watch your toes. Set it on the side and hammer it out that way or put it in a vise is what I prefer. But these are coming out easy so I don't I don't put them in the vise. The aluminum ones are the difficult ones, so these should all be, well, most of them should be double copper. There's a couple triple coil ones, and uh, we'll get to those in a, in a second.
Okay. Get my slippers. Okay, we can try to smack this down flat. Beautiful. Each time I pull these out, this is about six pounds of copper. Five or six. Can I get number three electric motor, which right now is over three dollars a pound? So can't complain. Sometimes they come out in one chunk and don't break up, which is nice. It's usually, usually nice. Sometimes it gets hung up, but again, the copper ones are easier than the aluminum. Yeah. Sometimes having to put these in the vise is a pain in the ass, so. Being able to do it right here, I've never actually uh, used this ledge before, but I may keep using it in the future just because it's ergonomically good. Trying to beat the storms. We had some storms earlier today pass through real quick. At 11 o'clock, it was still 62 degrees, and it said the high was going to get up to 76. I said, well, it has its work cut out for it to get up that high. And sure enough, 10 minutes later, I told the guys, Hey, it's going to stop raining here shortly. And they were like, yeah, right. Ten minutes later, it stopped raining. The sun came out. And it got up to 75, like they said. And that's why these storms are so potent today, I guess, because of the daytime heating. I wouldn't be surprised if some of them come out as a... EF4 or EF5 like the other day, but they usually miss my neck of the woods. Man, this one is all jacked up now. Let's see if we can get one of those. There we go. Once you get a few of them out, Kind of loosens everything up in there. It's not so crammed. And they usually just almost slide right out. But. This one's trying. It's fighting me all the way. Whew. Okay, 
We'll go on the conservative side and say that's five pounds, but I believe that's more like six or seven. Yeah, that, that, that feels like, that's almost like the 1500 waters that are eight pounds, but we'll go with six. Again, I don't have a scale. I'm working on getting a scale. I don't know what kind of scale I want. Because on one hand, I need to weigh buckets of copper. On the other hand, I need to weigh AC coils because I've got hundreds of pounds of them coming in every week. So just this last week, let's see, Monday, 580 pounds of condenser coils, AC coils, ACRs, whatever you want to call them yesterday 640 pounds so yeah would love to have a scale to know what i'm getting myself into at the scrapyard before I get i may need to get a smaller scale and a bigger scale or one of those crane scales or, i don't know I need a lot of stuff but right now I just want to make some money and we'll worry about the stuff I want later the difference between want and need you don't always have to have something just because Up. Crack, baby. Don't delaminate on me. Just crack. For the vice. I don't know why this one's being such a pain. That may be a cutter. You can already see it's been out of shape, so it's not going to want to come straight out of there. Sometimes they're really glued in there, too. Depends on the brand, if it's aluminum or copper. Yeah. We'll save that one for last. How about that? When we're good and tired, we'll save that one. Man, that is slick over here. Video earlier got cut short my daughter wanted to watch my phone and she's the boss so I had to give in um, got to break down a real big unit today it was um, I don't know how many tons it was I would say it was at least a 10 ton unit I may be wrong on that but definitely on the commercial side of things, it was a big one. It had two, um, two sealed units or compressors that weighed like 150 pounds a piece. It was like, good Lord. Not the biggest ones I've ever seen, but when you come across them, you don't forget them. Luckily I had someone with a forklift, because I don't need to be lifting 150 pounds by myself. 
Call me weak. Call me whatever you want. I could move it, but I ain't gonna hurt myself. I gotta do this every day. And if you got a forklift, why not use it? The good old work smarter. Not harder, even though I'm working hard. I just work smart, don't get hurt. Live to scrap another day. Don't want to be injured. Then I can't do nothing. But bitch and moan. That one by itself almost weighs five pounds. I feel like, I'm curious. I need to see if neighbors let me borrow a scale or just go fucking buy one like I always say I'm going to, but I don't. Always forget. Raise your hand if you got kids and every time you go to the store you forget what you went for because they're just too busy. I want this, I want this, I want that. Every time, man, every time. Go there for milk and cookies and come out there with a hundred dollar check or a hundred dollar fucking, well, you can't even call it a load of groceries anymore. You buy four things and you don't even got any food and it's a hundred bucks, you know? Inflation is real. I'm just glad prices of scrap are up. Business is good for me. All I can say is let me know how y'all are doing. Are you, are you doing all right? Are you struggling? Or can you not find any contracts that's you know i see so many people just looking in dumpsters and don't get me wrong you can find great stuff in dumpsters and it's free but man don't be afraid to go around to companies and ask them what they do with their scrap metal scared of making money I used to be shy at one point that was when I was really young grew out of it pretty quick you know instead of trying to be stealthy and trying not to get caught looking in a dumpster just go ask if they say well there's a liability issue print out the liability agreement that frees the entity or person or company or whatever of liability that's the main reason why people don't want you in the dumpster is because people will sue when they get hurt which makes no fucking sense to me but people do it so i've started uh printing out this template free of liability for the company they don't you're not liable for anything that happens to me. Injury or death or otherwise. And, you know, at that point, why would they say no? Unless they were keeping it for themselves. If they're free from liability, there's no reason to say no. See where I'm going? Make your path. Swim against the fucking grain, man. in a business with a bunch of crackheads. You gotta stick out from the crackheads. And no, I don't look like a crackhead. Recovering crackhead. Now you know. Now you know. Well, not really crack, but you get where I'm going. Ten years in recovery. Amazing. Absolutely amazing.
Life is good. Life is good, life is great. And you know, I have fun doing this. I enjoy scrap life. You know, despite what other people think of it, the stigma behind it, oh, you're just doing crackhead work. Or, oh, you're so dirty, you're, you're digging in trash. Motherfucker, I'm making money. I don't care how I'm making the money. I'm legitimate. I ain't stealing it. I'm working my ass off to make money. You know? You could wipe asses for a living in a nursing home. That, to some people, could be disgusting. Just as disgusting as me digging in other people's trash. So don't let anybody put you down. If you enjoy doing it, and you're doing it responsibly, legally, you know, Sky's the limit. Sky is the limit. Oh man, this one is really boogered up. I don't know if I can beat it back in the shape or not. probably 400 waters they're kind of strange looking i've actually never come across these in a light before or whatever it came out of i'm assuming it's a light a parking lot light i bought these from the scrap yard but it's kind of the same you break the weld on one side and you can really easy and then um You can, uh, let's see. Yeah. Beat that coil out, and then really you can just flip it over and hammer the coil out the other side. Uh, sometimes this one is a little more difficult. But not really. Not really, super easy. So I may, uh, may pick up some more of them because I've only done a few of those before, but seeing how easy they are and they're double copper. And I can tell by, by feel, but after I break them down, I can't really tell. You can't really tell by holding the transformer. I, I can tell a double aluminum one, but an aluminum copper one, got to kind of know if you've seen that type of coil before you can know like the triple coils i always know that there's two copper one aluminum uh, like once i found the triple coil to be all copper but that was only one time but when you break it down and get it to like this right here i can feel oh that's copper oh that's copper or oh that's aluminum uh, but i scratch test them with a uh, grinder those of you that watch my videos know that. But if it's your first time here, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah.
banging on me. There we go. Twenty six minutes in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We didn't go. Could be here any minute. I don't know how close they are really, but we're just gonna keep pushing through. Look how easy that one. This ham ran out. That's nice. Snip that little wire holding them together. Punch it right off. Put it down. Turn it over and repeat. Not want to do that without a fight. Out is the Need to find my punch. All of them have been double copper so far. Let's hopefully keep that streak going.
this to come off, but same time it doesn't. Tough guy. There you go. Tough guy, but there he is. There we go. Here's Tushin. Don't want to give up. Okay. What about this one? why it was so difficult now you see that stupid ass coil did not want to come off for some reason that damn aluminum just holds on tight
aluminum. It's a big coil and it weighs a good bit, but it's aluminum. Unfortunate. Very. Trying to show y'all. Have to get my uh, file out in a minute. Here we go. Here's a triple coil. One, two, three. This one's gonna be aluminum, these two copper. These are usually easy to break down because that aluminum coil is so small. And there's the aluminum one. Let me go ahead and grab my file. show you that I can feel it by the weight. Aluminum. Definitely sometimes it's hard to see on the camera the but definitely aluminum silvery color. Back here. And same with these big coils. Obviously they look copper because they're painted. And everybody always, even electricians that change these out are like, oh yeah, they're all copper. And I'm like, you dummy, you don't even know that they paint them? Like, how do they not know that? So, that's definitely aluminum. So, let's get a copper one. Pretty much every one of these. Let me get one so you can actually see what I'm doing. pink sometimes it shows up the same but yeah right there it looks white but right there it's pink there you go pink so yeah just wanted to do a couple scratch tests and you'll, you will get some they don't look exactly like this but you see how that has a double wrap in there you'll get some that feel light like aluminum but a little heavier and it'll have the inner core right there will be copper and the outside will be aluminum. So you always want to check your coils with the scratch tester. 
especially if they don't feel right because that 10 percent of copper weighs more than that 90 percent of aluminum around it so uh, project shop did a video on that it's definitely worth taking the extra couple like minute or two to break them down there you go two copper one aluminum i love those coils it's like a little bonus because not a lot of them have that extra coil on them If anybody knows why there would be three coils on them, there's like another copper. If they know why there's three coils on them, and why one's aluminum and two are copper other than to save money, let me know. And also, if you know, why double aluminum transformers? Is it solely to save money? Can that same transformer last as long as a copper one? If anybody knows the truthful answer to that, please let me know. Because um, I just have a feeling that companies are doing it because the copper price is so high. That, you know, but why didn't they do aluminum back in the day? Why did they just now switch is the question too. Like, if aluminum works, why would you do co all copper back in the day? Who knows? Why do they paint it to look like copper? Isn't the point of, uh, you know, I've got a brother-in-law that works on cell phone towers and they got a big power wire that's bare that go, or a ground wire that's bare that runs up the whole tower. Well, it's tin coated, so it doesn't look like copper. So nobody would be the wiser if they walked past it unless they knew what they were looking at. Uh, but why, um, why do they paint these that color? Is there a reason? Obviously, it's not to hide the fact that it's copper, because it ain't copper, but I don't know. There's some questions that I always have thought about. Those are just copper, they ain't gonna hurt. <sighs> Smells good over there. Neighbors cooking on the grill. Smells delicious. Yep, you know why this one's so difficult? You guessed it. Aluminum. Sorry, son of a bitch. I fucking hate the aluminum ones. Fucking hate them. Just grabs on and never lets go good lord look at that mess just a gnarled Goodbye, aluminum. Oh, please don't be a double aluminum. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Hope I'm wrong. Son of a bitch. Maybe. Maybe it's one of those ones. Oh, it's all buggered up now. 
it is one of those ones that has that inner core. I told y'all. It sure is. The inner core is pulling right out too. Look at that. Look at that. I'll be damned. Yes, honey. Okay, hold on. Okay. I'll have to cut that open to see if I got all the copper, but it's all mangled. I may just leave it. But hold on a second. I'll be right there. I don't think the other one has the inner core. Let me see. I'll be right back, guys. I gotta fucking... The boss is calling. Honey, honey, honey. What, what, what? Honey, What are we at? 50 minutes? Good lord. I need to speed it up. I don't know. If, I doubt this one is going to want to come off. No. I'm not going to waste my time with that. Let's look here and make sure we got copper. Because I don't want to fuck with it. Oh no, it's the same thing. It's that stupid. Oh, man. Now we gotta get it out and show it on this video because this is what I was just, you know, I just tried to do it on the coil I just did, but it was all mangled to hell. So I'll show you how to properly recover the copper out of these.
these, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. Inner core copper, outer core, or outer shell aluminum. I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to mangle it to death. Give me a second. I'm going to step over to the vise. So at first, uh, at first glance, you would feel this and say, oh, it's aluminum. Well, you'd feel this and say the same thing, except, okay, you see how, see how the difference in size, hold on, see how uh, this coil is bigger than this coil? This is aluminum, but this is a smaller coil and it weighs more than this but it's not copper it's an inner copper outer aluminum Hold on. inner copper outer aluminum um, shell so i'll show you how i go about breaking them down step in front of the light real quick so I've got my big cable cutters and I'll just set that in the middle kind of like halfway like that and then turn it around and do the other side uh, and crack her open okay flip it around Cut it, flip it around, cut the rest. And then I like to go to the other side and do the same thing. Oof. We've got a cross section and what do you know see that hiding in there see that copper right there it's hard to see isn't it it's there Let's see if we can see it on the other side yeah that little tiny I need something to point with little tiny bit right there that little bit weighs and pays three well it weighs more than all that aluminum but it pays like three times as much for that so they're usually kind of split in half like that too so i'll take one and then uh hammer it right on the corner right there and it kind of separates see that cover slide out see that slides right out of there and you can just pull it out 
there will be a couple of um, aluminum strands if you didn't do it perfectly and you can pick those out they shouldn't really give you that much of a hard time since most of it's copper but or mix it in I don't recommend mixing you know aluminum coils but a couple of strands errant strands I think they'll be all right Try to get all of them I can. And like I said, um, that chunk of aluminum and this little bitty chunk of copper, this weighs more than that. <laughs> Funny. How much denser copper is than aluminum. But yeah, I'll do that for these and you definitely... Um, getting a little extra money out of it you know you're not going to break the bank but if you had um one time i had a whole load of these and i broke them all down and made an extra like i don't know 30 40 bucks just from those little bits of copper in those centers i mean it was like 20 lights or something or 20 ballasts that had that and it's always this the the one coil it's never both coils that have it and usually the other coil is all aluminum for whatever reason it's just the brand or type or whatever i've seen it in thousand waters like these and i've seen it in 400 waters as well so keep an eye out it may be worth your while so glad i got to show you all that other side real quick tap the corner Very nice. Three more. See if I can't knock these out real quick. I'm right at an hour. 